The Jakarta EE platform enables developers to produce lightweight cloud-native applications of all kinds while providing maximum developer productivity. Now featuring multiple profiles geared towards producing microservices or full-stack applications, the platform provides flexibility for developing applications of all sizes. The Jakarta EE platform is composed of a number of specifications, each targeting specific areas in application architecture. This modular approach allows the specifications to evolve under different expert groups and timelines, while the platform enables each to work together in harmony. Given the wide variety of applications being developed today, a one-size-fits-all approach is rarely feasible. Some applications may be deployed to on-premise containers, whereas others are deployed to cloud environments. When deploying to cloud environments, the size of an application or container can make a difference, as smaller sizes often equate to cost savings. Given the many variations between applications, the Jakarta EE platform provides a number of options which allow developers to make use of the specifications that best suit their solution, and also offers numerous deployment options for those solutions developed on the Jakarta EE platform. Now, let's take a look at the profiles that the Jakarta EE platform has to offer. One of the most important new features of Jakarta EE10 is the core profile, which contains a minimal number of specifications that are targeted towards providing essential functionality. The core profile was engineered for use with microservices applications and for runtimes that support build time applications. This profile is ideal for development of simple services that will be suitable for cloud deployment. The web profile is targeted for the development of modern web applications that only require the use of a subset of the specifications within the platform. Finally, the Jakarta EE platform contains the entire set of specifications, including those that are part of the core and web profiles, plus a number of additional specifications, such as Jakarta Activation and Jakarta Enterprise Beans. The best way to get started developing applications with the Jakarta EE platform is to utilize the starter application. To make use of the starter, go to the website. The Jakarta EE platform contains industry standard specifications that have been developed and fine-tuned to provide for maximum performance and developer productivity. Whether an application requires the use of enterprise-level APIs or if it will simply provide basic services such as REST, the Jakarta EE platform contains a solution that will be suitable for the task at hand.